guys? Welcome back. If you clicked on this video, it means you want to make sure you got yourself a refund. Now, let me give you five reasons why you want a refund. But first, let me tell you one quick thing. You know, on this channel, we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and make sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. And the only way to have the most amount of fun is by hitting the subscribe button down below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Five reasons why you made the right decision on why you want to get a refund. Number one, cash in pocket. The most obvious answer, the most simplest answer, and the best answer, having cash available to you immediately is obviously the best reason why you want to get yourself a refund. You want to make sure that you have the money to go ahead and spend it on whatever it is you want to buy. And now because that event is no longer happening or no longer taking place or has been postponed indefinitely, it makes sense to just have that cash back and make a decision on something else in the future. Whether it wants to be allocated towards bills, allocated towards other fun things, allocated towards other useless things, it doesn't matter. It's your money, you get it back, you can do whatever you want. You can already return things like groceries and clothing and electronics, so why not your tickets? Genius, right? Thinking. Now, Number two, reason why you want to make sure you get that refund is because credits expire. Credits, when they expire, you lose all the value, you get nothing for it, it turns into nothing, and we don't like nothing. You've already spent the money, why would you want to then get a credit that may or may not end up getting used? Why would you put yourself in that position when you can just have the cash back and then make the decision at a later date? It doesn't make any sense to get that credit at all, does it? You don't want anything that expires, I want things that last forever or until I spend it. I want to make the decision, I don't want to let someone else make the decision. I want to decide. Number three, scheduling. With scheduling, it's sometimes one of those things where it's like, oh, you plan out this event many weeks in advance, many months in advance, a whole year in advance. What if you're going to the Olympics, for example? You plan out all these things, then you find out last minute, oh, oh, the event, it's been postponed. I don't know when the new date's going to be. It might be in a few months. It might be in a few years. It might never take place. I don't know yet. I'm just going to, I'm going to put on post pause, you know, I'm just going to postpone it for now. And you're like, uh, but I planned this. I planned it to happen now, and now you're telling me it's not happening now? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And they say, okay, here, fine. Here's what we'll do. We'll give you a credit so you can go ahead and spend the money on this event once it's, you know, re-announced and re-planned and redated. You can go ahead and do it then. Uh, no, that doesn't work for me. I don't want to have to wait and let them hold on to my money for all this time until they decide they're going to have a new date. I just want to make sure I get my money back now. Also, you already worked in the plan into your schedule. Why would you have to now work a new plan into your schedule? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. It, 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 it boggles my mind. Absolutely bonkers. It doesn't make any sense. I want to make sure that things work in my schedule right now. Therefore, I am going to take that refund because the credit is... It, I don't have to make that decision again. It's too far down the road. I've already made it. It's over. That's it. Not. Nah, nah. That's it. Number four buyer's remorse. Now, this one's a fun one because by fun, I mean not fun, but actually works out to be really fun. With buyer's remorse, it's one of those things where you buy something and you think, oh, this is a great idea. I'm so excited to go. This is going to be the best. It's going to be amazing. And then you realize, oh, I didn't actually want to go see the Nutcracker for the 50th time. So in this case, when the option has now come back up to you saying, hey, you know, you can go ahead and get a refund for the money and you no longer need to attend that event. I mean, you could wait for the postponed date to be reannounced and, you know, take the credit and then apply it towards that. Or it just say, oh, I'm so sorry, friend of mine. Uh, unfortunately, the event's been postponed. It's been, you know, it's not happening anymore. I don't know what's going to take place. I'm going to take my money back and then we can, you know, we can discuss later about what we're going to do. Unfortunately, we just, we, we can't go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, I really wanted to, but it, it, I couldn't do it. I couldn't make it happen. It just, it wasn't meant to be. This is the one time in life where you're able to get yourself get out of jail free card. It's going to be very nice. Take the opportunity that is there. Do not leave your money in credit. Do pass go. Do collect $200. Your own $200 that you've already spent. Fantastic. I never had this wonderful opportunity where I could get out of something, a get out of jail free card, if you will. I ended up going to see One Direction many, many years ago, and I could not even give the tickets away. I tried. Trust me. I tried. I have proof. I tried to get in the way. It couldn't happen. I ended up taking a few people with me. Uh, I paid all this money for them. I could not get out of it. It was horrible. I went. I had earplugs. It happened. But if I had the opportunity to go ahead and get a refund for it instead, I wouldn't have thought twice. And number five reason is because the credit, it just it doesn't work for you. Some these credits, they're, they're tied to specific venues. They're tied to specific types of events. They're not able to be used however you choose. It's a problem. So, you know, you could happen to have wanted to go see, you know, Hamilton that one time, and then they find out, oh, it's been, you know, postponed, and it might not come back anymore, and I don't know what's going on. And then you have all this money, and you're like, oh, I could go see, you know, one other Broadway play that I've totally never wanted to see in my life. That sounds like a good idea. 
right? If it, this other, you know, this big thing back that I want to go see, I will use that same money and I will, you know, go again. But until then, I'll just take my money back and, you know, just, I'll just, give you an additional credit to incentivize you to take the credit, it, it sometimes is just, it's just not worth it. Don't put yourself in that position. It's, you'll be fine without it. Trust me. Now, with all that being said, have I convinced you? If yes, let me know in the comments below. But if no, you do have one other option and that is to take the credit. If you want to take the credit, click over here and you will learn all the reasons why taking that credit is the best decision you ever made. With all that being said, thanks for watching and See you guys next time.